This is what UFC looks like. This is what swagger, family, power, and belief look like. Get it? So get it. Shop UFCstore.com for the UFC fan in you. UFCstore.com. This is what UFC looks like. Dude, this is our town, Gian Vellante. This is our city. I've never actually had batting practice with a professional team. Oh! So myself and the heartthrob, we went over to meet the Rockettes. I was thinking of what do you put on Matt Sarah's birthday cake? <laughs> our pizza tour guide was this guy, Scott. He carries around a thermometer in his pocket. You got to get a wedgie for that. We were expecting an all-out war. What we got was way better. Before Stipe defends his title against Nganu, Brandon Davis breaks into the UFC against Kyle Crash Bogsniak. Plus, the score is settled with the controversial rematch of Homasi and Al Hassan. The ref should have let it go. Don't ever count me out. And the record breaking Dustin Ortiz takes on the Campbell. Alexandre and Tunja. UFC 220 prelims, Saturday at 7 Eastern on FS1. Steve Miocic is clearly the best heavyweight in the world. But this is the most terrifying striker the UFC's heavyweight division has ever seen. Francis Ngannou! One punch knockout power. Steve Miocic! He is an animal inside the octagon. Daniel Cormier! One of the very best in mixed martial arts. Vulcan Uzdemir! He's a dangerous man. What a night we have in store. Two titles, two wild fights. Good evening, Boston, Massachusetts. We'd like to welcome you to the weigh-in for UFC 220. Miocic versus Ngannou. Tomorrow night, we will determine the baddest man on the planet as Stipe Miocic goes for a record third defense of his UFC Heavyweight Championship against the number one contender and betting favorite, Francis Ngannou. Plus, UFC Light Heavyweight Champion and future Hall of Famer, Daniel Cormier, puts his title on the line against hard-hitting challenger, Vulcan Uzdemir. We would like to thank our UFC sponsors, EA Sports UFC 3. Powered by Real Player Motion Tech, EA Sports UFC 3 delivers the most authentic UFC experience ever in a video game. Pre-order now on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Modelo Especial. Since 1925, we prove that it doesn't matter where you come from, it matters what you're made of. Modelo Especial, brewed with a fighting spirit. Metro PCS where you get nationwide coverage on the blazing fast 4G LTE network for just $30 per Harley Davidson. See your dealer today and learn to ride like some of your favorite UFC fighters with Harley Davidson Riding Academy. Live your legend. And Body Armor. Body Armor Sports Drink provides superior hydration for today's athletes. More electrolytes, more vitamins, better sports drink. Body Armor, the official sports drink of the UFC. We would also like to send a special welcome to our UFC Fight Club members joining us today here in the City of Champions. We hope to see all of you once again at the Garden for the live action tomorrow night. And now for the call of the weigh-in for UFC 220, here is Joe Rogan.
official weight 156. Oh, 
Official weight, 171 for Mr. Hamasi. Abdul Razak Al Hassan and Sabah Hamasi, ladies and gentlemen. Next, we move to the featherweight division. Kyle Pokniak versus Brandon. Official weight, 146 for Mr. Davis. And his opponent, Boston's own Kyle Bokniak. Official weight, 146. Brandon Davis and Kyle Bokniak, ladies and gentlemen. Next, we move to the main card, live on pay-per-view. We kick things off in the bantamweight division. Thomas Almeida versus Ron Boss. First up on the scale, Boston's own Rob Fon. 136. Official weight, 135.5 for Mr. Almeida. That's a hell of a fight to kick off the main card, ladies and gentlemen. Rob Fon and Thomas Almeida. The next fight takes place in the light heavyweight division. John Volante versus Fred Simon. Official weight, 205 for Mr. Bahos. And his opponent, Sean Vellante. Official weight, 205 for Mr. Vellante. gentlemen. The next fight takes place in the featherweight division. Calvin Cater versus Shane Burgos.
official weight, 146 for Hurricane Shane. And his opponent, Massachusetts on Calvin Cater. Official weight, 145.5 for Mr. Cater. Calvin Cater and Shane Burgos, ladies and gentlemen. Now, let's take a closer look at the two men involved in the co-main event of the evening. I have to beat Volkan Ozdemir. He's everything to me right now. Whereas six months ago, he wasn't even on the radar, now he's John Jones. Because he's in front of me, and he helps me to take a step forward. And right now, nothing's more important. I've got to step forward. Daniel Cormier faces one of the most formidable knockout artists in the division in Volkan Ozdemir. He has to defend not just his light heavyweight title, but defend his position as one of the best fighters in the history of the light heavyweight division. So many guys go into the fight with the idea that they're just going to get me out of there. But what happens after five minutes when I'm still pressing you? They turn over, they present their neck. He's under the neck. Oh, my goodness. And that's what's about to happen to Volker Ozdemir. It's not going to be that easy. All my fights were so fast, and you're not going to be different. We have seen Volkan tested against Misha Surkunov and then again against Jimmy Manoa. Two spectacular first round KOs. Wow! Volkan Ozdemir does it again! We are looking at one of the most exciting light heavyweight prospects in years. Since I started, I wanted to be at the top. Now I'm finally there and I'm fighting for the belt. I want to finish the fight in the first round. I come here with heavy hands and I'm here to knock people out. There's no part of me that's afraid of Hulk and Ozdemir in any way, shape, or form. The worst thing that happened to him was getting those fast knockouts because he won't be ready for what's next when it doesn't happen. I respect Cormier wrestling pedigree. He's a really good champion. I expect to see the strongest Daniel Cormier we ever saw. Daniel Cormier has done it! Wow! I'm going to be there strong and I'm going to impose my will. I'm going to be the new champion. I applaud him for making this run as fast as he has. It's just weighing over his head now. He's drinking the Vulcan Kool-Aid. <laughs> Vulcan's drinking the Kool-Aid. I get my hand raised and I get a brand new gold belt that Dana White wraps around my waist, and that one will feel even better than the one that I got. I'm gonna smash this dude. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, introducing the challenger. Official weight, 205 for the challenger! And his opponent, the reigning, defending UFC light heavyweight champion in the world, Daniel Cormier! Official weight, 205 for the champion! Here with the challenger, Volkan Ozdemir. It's a huge opportunity for you. 
the biggest fight of your career for the title. Give us your thoughts on Daniel Cormier as an opponent and what tomorrow night means to you. Daniel is a nice champion, but right now it's my time. All right, good luck to you tomorrow, sir. Vulcan Ozdemir, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with DC, ladies and gentlemen. I might love Boston. I might love Boston. Well, I do love Boston. And it's going to be an intense fight tomorrow night. What do you think about Volkan Ozdemir? He's had a meteoric rise to the title. And what do you think about tomorrow night? Sometimes you can go into a tournament and you win matches you're not supposed to and you get just too deep. Volkan Ozdemir is too deep. He gets his ass whipped tomorrow on the TV Garden Arena and goes back to the undercard. Good luck to you, sir. Daniel Cormier, ladies and gentlemen. Now, let's take a look at the two men involved in the most exciting heavyweight world title fight ever. This is not just any heavyweight contender. This is the scariest man in the history of the sport. Oh my, he's done. Hit it, it's it. over. He's literally a one in a million type athlete. We're dealing with a guy who's capable of knocking any heavyweight unconscious with one punch that connects. Absolutely frightening power from Francis Ngannou. And we might be staring at a future UFC heavyweight champion. I honestly believe that I'm going to be the world champ. I have the potential to be the greatest heavyweight for all time. He believes it is his destiny to be the UFC heavyweight champ of the world. But he is fighting a man in the champion, Stipe Miocic, who earned everything through blood, sweat, and determination. He's coming off of four first round knockouts in a row. He is on a tear right now. That's it! Stipe Miocic! This guy's the best heavyweight in the world. He's gaining confidence every time. He is in his prime. And if Stipe can hold back Francis Ngannou, it cements his position as the baddest man on earth. It is the biggest challenge of his career. It's another man trying to take my belt, and I've worked way too damn hard to get this thing up, and I'm not giving it up. So I don't really care who I fight. I'm going to win. Stipe can believe what he wants to believe. There are no way he's not going to go to sleep. If I connect, he's going to go down. The goal is not just to be Stipe, it's to take that belt and keep it for a very long time. Unfortunately for Francis, I'm never a champ, and I'm not going anywhere. So he ain't going to be champ until I leave. At the end of the day, I'm going to come home and still. I'm here with the challenger, Francis Ngannou. Francis, you've had a spectacular rise to the top of the UFC's heavyweight division. Tomorrow, you get to fight for the title. Give us your thoughts on this opportunity. You know, uh, I think this fight gonna end like the other one because I done with this uh, already. Tomorrow, I will come here, just finish the fight as uh, I used to. 
Good luck to you tomorrow night, sir. Francis Ngannou, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with the champ. Boston loves Stipe Miocic. Stipe, tomorrow night is a huge fight. It's one of the most exciting heavyweight title fights ever. Give us your thoughts on this opportunity to defend your belt and possibly break history by being the first guy to defend the title three times. It's an amazing opportunity, you know, fast, tough guy, but, and still. Good luck to you tomorrow night, sir. The champ, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Boston. We'll see you all.